So now I want to show you how easy it is to make asparagus using the row pot. I'm going to use my stir fry function and I'm going to set it for four minutes. Because asparagus is a little tougher on the veggie side, I want to just quickly add a little more time just to, to make sure that it's nice and cooked. To my asparagus, I just added two cloves of garlic and I just diced them up. Now I'll just make sure my row pot is already preheated, so I'm just going to set it to stir fry by clicking the function button just until I get to my stir fry. What's awesome about the display, because it's touch screen, I only have to gently touch it. I don't have to push really hard. It's really sensitive and it's a beautiful screen. No need to press. You just lightly touch it and it'll go, go where you need it to go. So my stir fry has started. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil into my pan. Again, I'm gonna move to the side when I open and I'm gonna make sure not to touch the top because it's hot. So just like that. For this recipe, I'm using the inner pan that has the hook. Because I'm using my stir fry function, I want it to act as a chef and I want it to stir for me. As you can see here, it started to stir. So I'm just going to add a little bit of oil, just like that. And I'm just going to put all my asparagus and my garlic right into my row pot. And you can already hear it sizzling, it sounds amazing. At the end, I'm going to add my salt and my pepper. So I'll just close that. So I'm just going to add the time for my stir fry to four minutes. Perfect. Is that four minutes? So I'll let that cook. It's going to stir on its own and in the meantime I'm going to go relax and we'll come back and see once the robot is finished how everything turned out. So I just want to show you what the stirring function looks on the inside. So right now it's stirring my asparagus. So I just moved to the side and you can see how it's actually stirring for me. So that's the beauty of this row pot. I can literally just sit on the side and it does everything for me. So just 20 seconds left. I'll just close that. 20 seconds and then it's done and I can go ahead and start eating this delicious food. Actually, I forgot to mention, after the 20 seconds and it's done, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper right into the pot and then I'm going to click toss. So it's going to do a one final quick stir with my salt and pepper just to get an even coating and then it's ready to go. And perfect. So I'll add my salt and my pepper, opening from the side, a little bit of salt. Oh wow, this smells delicious. And what's awesome is you don't smell it until you open it so it's a nice surprise. A little bit of pepper. And I'll just close this, hit toss, and it's good to go. It's going to toss just for 15 seconds and then we're ready. I'll put it right back onto my dish. And this is going to go great with any type of serving, so like a steak or if you're doing a chicken. Just like that, I'll open from the side. And what's so awesome is I can actually just take this pot right out of my row pot and just help my asparagus back onto the plate. Just like that. Wow, this smells so delicious. This was literally the easiest thing I've ever done. Asparagus sometimes is a hassle. We gotta keep playing with it while it's on the pan, but this was just too easy. This is awesome. I can't wait to take a bite.